Hello everyone. The Minister of Tourism, Lindy Wesisulu, has alleged that John Block was denied early parole in favor of sexual offenders. She also claimed that she was denied a chance to visit Block in prison. Following the accusation made by Lindy in defense of John Block, the Correctional Services Department said the law required that all prison inmates should be treated equally, despite their proximity to specific leaders. Block is the former chairperson of the Northern Cape ANC. Cicillo alleged that Block, convicted of corruption, was denied an early release during the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic in favor of foreign nationals and sexual offenders. Cicillo accused government of denying Block and herself legal rights when she was apparently denied an opportunity to visit him on Tuesday. Block was convicted of corruption and handed a 15-year sentence for using his political influence to solicit bribes while serving a Northern Cape provincial official. His appeals ended at the Constitutional Court where his final appeal was dismissed, leading to the start of his prison sentence in 2018. During an impromptu media briefing in the Northern Cape, Lindy Wesisulu painted Block as a political hero and a victim of injustice. Wema May and said she was assured she would be able to see Block on Tuesday and made the journey to the Northern Cape, only to be stopped from entering the facility. She said, We have learned with shock that the prison won't allow us to see him. Block has been in prison for some time. We made the application to come to see him. It is my right to have access to him, and the constitution allows that. The department spokesperson Singabako Ngumalo said no prisoner was entitled to special treatment, and Cecil, like any other ordinary citizen, had to make a booking before visiting a prison. He said the Correctional Service Act calls for inmates to be treated equally. It will be unfortunate if some are treated differently due to their proximity to certain leaders and prominent people in society. DCS is a security department, hence a need to implement and follow procedure as prescribed. There is nothing in law prohibiting ministers from visiting inmates. However, it has to be stated that the same procedures meant for public members apply equally to the executive and people who may want to provide spiritual support. Cicely made allegations that Block was on the list of early release prisoners at the peak of the COVID-19 pandemic, but his name was removed and said Block was denied release in favor of convicted rapists. She said, nobody disclosed the reason why his name was removed from the parole list. Instead, several people, some of them sexual offenders, were allowed to go on parole. An offender was convicted of rape and he took John Block's space on parole. But Singabako said it's also critical to highlight that under the COVID-19 parole dispensation and special remission of sentences, specific categories of inmates who committed crimes including murder, sexual assault, child abuse, high treason, sabotage and terrorism were excluded. Therefore, utterances insinuating that a rapist was released on parole under the COVID-19 parole dispensation are wholly unfounded and unfortunate. We remain committed to enforce the Correctional Services Act without any fear or favor. We will treat all visitors and inmates equally without any undue influence. Lindy Wesisuli said being denied visiting Block vindicated her controversial opinion piece written earlier this year in which she attacked the Constitution and the Judiciary. But Lindy Wesisisulu, though, why she didn't follow protocols and save herself from this embarrassing moment. Share your views on this one. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more news.